All right, everybody. Welcome. I am going to take a look at several of the fall festival rooms that were made for the fall festival concert or contest in Rec Room. So this first one, as you saw on the screen, is Sunfall Festival. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I've got some uh, edited gameplay of each one. I'm looking at three in this video. First is Sunfall Festival. The second one is a prop hunt game. And the last one is a... Uh, escape room kind of game. So, here I am in this one. And I think it looks very cool. It looks very well done. It looks awesome, actually, I think. Welcome to Somerset. Yep. So, across the bridge. I'm looking around. They did a gorgeous job of, of making it sunbeams uh, you, you may notice that the audio of the game is a little bit out of sync with my movements um, unfortunately I'm not sure how to fix that offhand so just bear with it they did an excellent job on the music very nice and soothing and relaxing and I thought they did an excellent job on the pumpkins. For whatever reason, the the thumbs up gesture didn't work on the first try. So they have a barn and a pier you can go to. Let's check out the barn first. Sunfall Festival. They have a bobbing for apples area, a dunk tank. Um, unfortunately, none of this area appeared to be interactive. It's very cool looking, but as you can see, I'm uh, trying to, to pick stuff up, interact with objects, and none of it appears to be interactive. I don't know if this is a matter of they just didn't get around to it because they ran out of time, or if they meant it as it just in, entirely decorative in the first place. I don't know. Either way, it looks good. They did a very good job on the look and appearance. Now I got someone just shooting at me with a fireworks gun. And, hey, and I thought at first, oh, is this a, just a, a PvP game? It's not. It's a hangout game. And what I really liked here, yeah. but it took me a while to figure out, is it's an actual climbable ladder with a new climb mechanic. I think that was well done. That was a nice touch. Ooh, a pistol. Here I try to pick up the paintball gun. I can't. And he tries to offer me his thing. I, I, I tell him that mine is, is, you know, is good. I'm fine. Barn. So. Yeah. Now, I want to reach the top of the ladder. There is an, there is an edit because I fell off a couple times before jumping to the top of the barn. And so I figured you guys didn't need to see that. <laughs> There's a nice picnic area, I guess, on top of the barn because why not, right? Now to go check out the pier. And as I mentioned, I think everything was beautifully done graphically um, in this room. The only nitpick I would have in it is that as far as I can tell that uh, the fireworks gun there is the only interactive object. Outside of that everything looks great. And here you are about to see Number one, something else that I thought looked spectacular. 
the underside of the bridge and the, and the light beam is coming through it. And you are going to see a flaw. Walking on the riverbed, I fall underneath the world. And I can't get back out. I spent about three minutes, so I cut that out. And here I am uh, pulling up m my menu to get ready to go to the next one. First, I give this world a, or this room, a cheer. I went to this one without looking at the description first, so. And the next one I go to is Pop Hunt. I failed on the first attempt of going there. I got uh, kicked back to my dorm room. So I cut all that out so you, you, you didn't have to have a long like three minute wait before the next room here. So. And this one is the pop hunt room. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. They have a nice expansive map. Over. It wasn't entirely clear how to play though. It lacked a little uh, necessary onboarding. Where'd you go? Okay, but, me again. Where? Uh, I was able to, uh, to, to figure it yeah, out with the help of I, other players. So, eventually. <laughs> some games you can, some games you can't. This one you can. Game on! Wait, how do you play this? <laughs> Wrong time to ask the question of how do you play this, huh? Possess a prop and hide. Hi, you, you. Grab a prop um, inside the ring. They showed me that before I was there, so I was confused when I got here. And I had a little glitch issue. Now, what I didn't realize is that I'm supposed to grab one of those objects right there and uh, attach it to me, basically. Here I am trying to, to possess objects that are already there, because... And I'm like, uh, okay, I'll just hide inside to this refrigerator since I can. Mute myself. How do I change prop? And see if oh that no. works. Oh no, I did oopsie. I'm just gonna hide in here. That is the sound of them finding people and banishing the spirits, which is what the props are. Shit! Oh, I should have added that, that outside. Purified. Banished to watch. And let's jump to the next game uh, that I played of this one. I'll find you to grab it. In just a second. Uh, the beginning. At the very beginning. In the next the round, I am a hunter. There we go. Bye bye. Because everybody spawns in the on. same spot, someone's accidentally giving each other <laughs> high fives. <laughs> So, I'm a hunter, I have to wait until they have all had a chance to hide. He was upset that he was a hunter again. Yeah, whatever. Grab an oar and show that you rule. Okay. Who knew that you banished spirits with oars? Yes. Unlike in the uh, 
the Pavlov version, you can actually see the actual players and not just the props that they are. So, they banish that guy. Keep in mind, this is my first time playing it. And so, I don't know where the uh, real props are and where the and, and which ones might be a fake one so oh after that pumpkin I gotta, I gotta laugh at my wife when I <laughs> I said that out loud while I was playing it and another little gra uh, quest glitch or Requiem Glitch, I'm not sure which. One minute remaining. Uh, attacking that poor wall, I, I don't think that was a problem. I just, but for whatever reason, he reacts to the ore. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. oh, did he die or did they win? Oh, that's bullcrap. No, come on. Hunters won. Now, I jump forward to the next round where I finally kind of have to figure out well, how to put out the prop. I go over to the pumpkin, out off the bottle, I'm not sure why or how, and it says, host me to your back, but then it froze, so. And I ended up uh, going, oh, I don't have the time to run and to, to find a spot now. I can't get it. Oh, I can't get a holster, so I'll just hide right here. Have the big pumpkin right here. I'll just scratch down, mute myself. It didn't work. I was purified again. I'm not very good at uh, hiding as a prop, am I? No. But it's okay. It's cool that after you are eliminated, you can watch. Um, so it looks like so some of the players were able to actually go out and uh, fly above and, and watch him that way. I couldn't quite figure out how, so. And the next one I go to is Halloween Quest. Uh, it's a kind of a puzzle escape room. I started out in the tutorial, uh, the tutorial I think. It, yeah, and then I I go. The, the the tutorial was, in my opinion, not the best. It didn't really explain much. It just said find objects and it's 
and, and solve the puzzle or something like that. So, well, you're about to find out what it uh, says that exactly. So, okay, guys, welcome in this tutorial about Halloween Quest. In the Halloween Quest, you need to destroy or, or do something with the red items. Okay? Bye. Yep. Destroy or do something with the red items. Okay. So that's a big help, huh? So. In I go. And here we are. So. Halloween quest. The flashlight. Trying to see if, if any of the buttons were interactable. They weren't. Did something with the red item. <laughs> now, this had a nice atmospheric effect. You know, the the wind noise and the the darkness and mist and all that. That was you know, uh, a nice spooky atmospheric effect going on. Um, but the puzzles themselves were a little too simplistic, in my opinion. See, I just randomly did that and it worked. Uh, no, I didn't have to try and to figure anything out. I just, okay, uh, let's try, oh, okay. And again, the red items. All of these are able to be picked up. I had I had not been able to understand the uh, tutorial so clearly at the beginning because um, I am hard of hearing and I can't play the quest with my my hearing aid on because I've got to wear wear headphones and it. Um, the straps go over where my hearing aid goes. So, um, I was thinking, okay, well, I've got to find the right to combination of items to go in here. But, no. It's just the red item. That's all I had to do. That one, one red item had to go in there. And that, and that subroom was solved. Now, um... I cut this one short, so I didn't do any, uh, um, I didn't do any editing for, for cutting out parts of this one because I gave this one the least amount of time, not because it was a bad game, but because, um, I was needed in the real world to, uh, help with, with dinner and whatnot, so I cut it short. And again, this one uses the climbing mechanics, which is um, nice. I like 
the climbing mechanic. I dropped that and I was like, oh, I hope I don't need that. <laughs> hope I didn't have that because I needed it. And I found another thing to climb. As I mentioned, the puzzles were not too challenging to to figure out. Uh, the next thing, well, so this one was uh, hard because it wasn't, uh, I was having trouble pulling in the right way to go up there, but, but that was me. And then here I didn't make the jump, and then I was like, okay, uh, uh, I'll cap it here and I'll go help with dinner. So, and I, I pull it up again with the description.